We're your truck agent. Today, I'm Roscoe. This is Mark. Today, we're going to talk about a very important, important part of the business, and it's how to communicate with your dispatcher. Well, what happens if we don't communicate with the dispatcher? Oh, <laughs> crash and burn. You oh, don't no. call your dispatcher. Your truck goes over a cliff. The trailer goes over a cliff. Oh, Boom. We try. Big explosion, and then you know what? Then you don't get paid. Okay, oh, no, no, that's is, a problem. Yeah, big, <laughs> that's a big problem. So, we want to talk about the simplicity of it. It's really, really easy. Let your dispatcher know where you are. Well, see, the dispatcher is supposed to be running interference for you, so that the broker is not constantly calling. Right. The, the whole point is, it, it. This is not a. This is not a control thing where we have to know where you are all the time. If we know where you're at. Then we can service you. We can help you. We can take care of any problems that come up. Yeah, that broker's going to be calling uh, that, all the time. Yeah. Do you Us. want a broker calling the driver or your dispatcher? That way you can just drive. You can be happy. So if we know where you're at and know what you're doing, if, and if you have any problem, then you know what? Send a text. Give us a call. We can smooth it out. We can help. See, as an owner-operator, your customer is truly the broker. And whatever broker you can sign with for that day, that use of the truck for that day or that week, whatever it is you're doing, they're the ones paying the paying the freight. Frankly, um, so they're entitled to know where you're at. I mean, they want to know when their when their product is going to get there. Right, right, and that's all they care about yeah, is them right, getting paid. Right now, they're the broker's boss is the consignee who's really worried about getting the freight to a specific spot. Maybe they're running production. Obviously, they need the freight or they wouldn't have ordered it. So the consignee's in the broker's business. The broker's calling the dispatcher. And if you, as an owner-operator or a, a driver, are communicating with the dispatcher, and that just means simply let us know where you're at. Yeah, simple text. Pick simple. up. When you get when you when you get to the broker, text boom. Text we're there. us. We're there. When you leave, when when the freight is on, when you're about to leave, text. I'm leaving. Another That's hour it. or two, you're on the road. I'm on the road. I'm passing through Sioux City or wherever you're. I, I'm not going. worried about micro details when right. you pull over for the night. Right. Of course. Just shoot a text. I'm yeah, in. because the broker's going to want to know where he is at night. Well, and here's the thing: if let's say you you get a good days run and you you run till two in the morning you're not going to want a 7 a.m broker call so if you shoot the dispatcher a text hey i'm in arlington texas um i get my 10 hours back at 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon um that's a phone call that doesn't come to the truck right because you need they to won't sleep wake you up yeah and, and uh, there's nothing more valuable than a, a fresh driver so right. We're trying to hedge against that. I'd rather a broker call me at 3 in the morning than my driver when he's sleeping. Right. And then when you're back on the road, simple text lets us know. Then we can tell the broker. The broker's happy. Right. And you know what You know what it means when the broker's happy? It means you get paid. <laughs> and then we, we all get paid. And they might use you again. Well, that's the hope. I mean, we again, we want you back on the road once you deliver, which brings us to... Once you're there with the freight, right. let us know so we can tell the broker. And then when you're done, you've got you've got your BOL, BOL in hand. Let us know. Done. Then we can find you another load and well, you and can go. If you run into detention time, um, you're going to want on your paperwork what time you got into a, a pickup or a delivery yeah, we help you and what too. time you left because if you're held there for 12 hours, you're going to probably want to get paid some of that detention time. And if you have that physically written on the bill of lading, yeah. um, it, it goes a lot easier. And if I'm communicating with the broker, because if, if a shipper is holding you more than a few hours, I'm on the phone with the broker busting his chops, yeah. seeing if we can get you moving. Right, for sure. So, But now the BOL, that's going to be in another video. We'll, right. we'll tell you all about that. We're going to do that next. Yeah. So stay tuned for that bill of lading video. All right. Uh, we're going to talk about carrier package bill of lading. Um, so let's just summarize this. Communication, um, in, out, right. stop for the night. Be available. Let us know where you're at. When you get the, when you get the freight, 
when you in the middle when you stop and then when you drop it off let us know it makes it'll make your life a lot easier make our life a lot easier and you get and you get paid because our objective is to to call the truck as little as possible i don't know when you went to sleep i you know just because i wake up at the same time and go to bed at the same time every day from being on the road i know you you never go to bed at the same time i don't so you you in order for me not to disrupt your your sleeping pattern um you you reach out to us a little bit that, just, that yeah, helps a lot. just communicate it it helps everything makes everyone's life easier and, and the other thing about communication um Let's say you're empty, and if I don't know you real well, and I don't, we don't have a, we haven't developed a, a comfort level yet. I think a dispatcher should communicate with the driver about, do you want this load or this load? So now the problem with that is, when a load comes on the board, seconds matter. So when we're in that critical time of you're empty. And we're actively seeking your next load. We we really need to be able to reach out and touch. Yeah, you need to be available. That's the first the first rule. Be available, especially when we're trying to find you a load. Because that's again, you're there to make money. We want to get you on the road. We want to handle your problems so you can drive. I run two phones so that I can talk to a driver and be calling the the board at the same time because time is so critical. I pay an extra hundred dollars a month to be able to see a load 60 seconds ahead of my competition. That, that that's a lot. You get it. Yes. And that's, I mean, if you're working with us, uh, other dispatchers have that a good dispatcher is going to have that. So right. Yeah. Whoever you're working with, uh, communicate with them, make sure they know where you're at and what you want. Communication is the key. We appreciate you guys, what you do every day, and we thank you for spending a little time with us. We'll see you next time.